Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's video, let's look at how to fix missing mfcu100u.dll error. Now, I had recently installed an application called EC Cloud, and when I tried to launch it, I got this error message which reads mfc100u.dll was not found. Now you might have noticed the same issue or error pop up when you're trying to launch a different application or a game. However, I've identified two methods that are guaranteed to work irrespective of the program. So let's get into this video and learn how to fix this issue. For the first method, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 package. Now to do this, open your browser and go to this link. Select the language of your choice from the drop down and click on download. Now you need to select x86 if you have a 32 bit OS. If you have a 64 bit OS, you need to select x64 and x86. To find this information, go to the search area of your taskbar and type settings. Click on the first result. Make sure system is selected on the left. Scroll down to the bottom and click on about. So next to system type, you'll be able to find this information. Since I have a 64 bit OS, I'll select both these versions and then click on next. I'll proceed to download these files. Now once these files are downloaded, I need to manually install them. Select run as administrator and select yes. Just accept to the terms and click on install. Select finish. Similarly, open the other file as well. So click on finish. Once the installation is complete, try to launch the application again. For the next method, you need to manually download the missing DLL files and place them in the appropriate folders. Now to do this, open your browser and go to this link. Next, scroll down to the download section and refer to the OS column. Now if you have a 32-bit OS, then you need to download just one 32-bit version of DLL file. But if you have a 64-bit OS, then you need to download one 32 and one 64-bit versions of DLL file. Click on download button to proceed. Once the files are downloaded, you need to extract the zip files. Once that is done, next go to C folder, then the Windows folder, scroll down until you can find system32 and syswav64 folder. Now copy the mfc100u.dll file, 64-bit version and right click on system32 and paste it. Select continue. Similarly, the 32-bit version, copy it and paste it inside the syswav64 folder. Now once that is done, Let's check if we are able to launch the application now. As you can see, I'm able to launch the application now and the DLL error is fixed. So that's it for this video. Hope the method shared in this video was useful for you. Until next video, thank you and bye-bye.